During a recent trip to South Africa, I visited a private and impressive well-managed game reserve. It is protected by an electric fence and armed guards who prevent poachers who are also heavily armed from killing rhinos for their horns and elephants for their tusk, which sadly is still in high demand in Asia. Despite the worldwide fight against poaching and the sale of ivory, the trade seems to be very profitable for criminals and smugglers. It is sad that Africa, once known for its wildlife and huge number of animals, is now struggling to stop some of them from going into extinction. There are so many endangered animals in Africa, but top of the list are black rhinos, the African forest elephant, pangolins, the Sahara cheetah, and the leopard. In Nigeria in particular, some animals just can't be found anymore due to a number of factors that include man-made activities such as poaching, the illegal wildlife trade made easy by porous borders, a flourishing bushmeat trade across Nigeria, terrorism in the north, drought, and just the lack of care. Nigeria currently has no surviving rhinos, giraffes, or cheetahs, and have fewer than 50 lions, 100 gorillas, 500 elephants, and 2,300 chimpanzees. Formerly widespread across northern Nigeria, today's lions survive in only two sites in the country, Kanji Lake National Park and the Yankari Game Reserve. Also, the Cross River Gorilla that used to be the kings of the jungle and are numbered at fewer than 300 in the forests of Nigeria and Cameroon combined. It is challenging to see a leopard in Nigeria because they are rare and under threat, but cameras have spotted a few of them at the Kanji Lake National Park, Gashaka Gumtree National Park, and the famous Yankari Game Reserve, which is sadly a shadow of its former self. Nigeria has also become a transit hub for the legal wildlife trade of ivory and pangolin scale that end up in Asian countries of Vietnam and China. We cannot sit idly by and watch this beautiful beast go extinct and also lose the foreign exchange earnings associated with wildlife and by extension tourism. Government must rise to the occasion and enforce the laws against poaching while resuscitating a national park should be treated as a matter of national importance. My name is Ben Murray Bruce and I just want to make common sense.